Beginning our countdown, we start with the Sooner Wrestling Team. Jack Spate's crew had another great season going 9-2-1 in duels, claiming three conference champions. Jared Patterson at 125 pounds, Kyle Terry at 149, and Shane Vernon at 197 pounds. The Sooners continued the trend at the NCAA Nationals, OU placing fifth as a team, the sixth time since 01 that the Sooners have placed in the top five as a team. Individually, Oklahoma crowned four All-Americans, Kyle Terry, Zach Bailey, Tyler Caldwell, and Eric Lepotsky. At number nine, the Sooner men's gymnastics team continued to roll under Mark Williams. The Sooners captured their 10th Mountain Pacific Sports Federation Conference Championship by edging Cal. OU then added another top three finish as a team at Nationals, claiming two more national champions. Alex Nadour on the pommel horse and Steven Legendre on the floor. It was the third consecutive title for Legendre on the floor exercise, who is now tied with Olympian Jonathan Horton with six overall national titles. As a team, the Sooners earned 11 All-American honors. Coming in at number eight, but rising and still playing, Sonny Galloway Sooner baseball team still playing as they get set to take on Virginia in the NCAA Super Regionals with the winner getting a ticket to the College World Series in Omaha. Consistently ranked in the top 20 throughout the season, the Sooners' good pitching, solid defense, and timely hitting earned OU the number two spot in the Big 12 and a host site for the NCAA Regionals. In the Regionals, the Sooners took full advantage of the great boisterous crowds at Eldale Mitchell Park to win three straight games all by one run the first two in extra innings before beating North Carolina in the regional championship. The seventh biggest story in OU athletics this year is the resiliency of the Sooner football team. Overcoming multiple injuries, never once using that as an excuse, despite the loss of the reigning Heisman Trophy winner Sam Bradford and an All-American tight end in Jermaine Gresham, along with several more, Bob Stoops held things together to lead the Sooners to an 8-5 record including a dominating performance Thanksgiving weekend against Oklahoma State, then capping off the season with a Sun Bowl victory over Stanford. At number six, the Sooner softball team. Patty Gasso's team reloaded and nearly made a return appearance at the Women's College World Series, finishing the season with a record of 47 and 12, winning the final Big 12 postseason tournament by run really number nine Missouri nine to nothing in the championship game, giving OU their fourth tournament title winning the first, the last, and two titles in between. The Sooners then had to travel to College Park, Maryland for the NCAA Regionals, where they won the Maryland Regional with wins over Syracuse and Fordham twice. Then they had to travel back across the country to take on defending national champion Washington in the Super Regionals. The Sooners showcasing their powerful bats in the opener by slugging five home runs against the reigning National Player of the Year, Danielle Laurie, including three by three-time All-American, Amber Flores. In the end, Washington would take the final two games to end OU's run, but the Sooners would add three more All-Americans to their long and impressive list, Amber Flores, Jessica Schultz, and Kaylani Ricketts. The fifth biggest story is the continuing development and rise of the Sooner track and field teams under the guidance of head coach Martin Smith. The Sooners continue to add conference team titles and individual national champions, beginning with a great season for the men's cross-country team, who finished 12th at the NCAA National Championships in Terre Haute, Indiana. OU continued the momentum during the indoor season, capped off by a conference championship for the Sooner men, the 18th conference title in program history, Ronnie Ash running his way to a national title at the indoor national championships in hurdles. The Sooners have continued to perform well in the outdoor season as well, crowning five more conference champions at the Big 12 meet in Columbia, Ronnie Ash, Amy Beckel, Karen Shump, Brittany Borman, and KP Singh all won Big 12 championships. And again, the best might be still to come as Oklahoma has sent 20 student athletes to this weekend's NCAA championships in Eugene, Oregon. At number four, the incredible first season of the John Roddick era in OU tennis. The Sooners finished the season 19 and eight overall, including hosting an NCAA regional in which the Sooners knocked off Tulsa and Texas Tech to advance to the NCAA championships for the first time in school history. They weren't done yet knocking off conference rival Texas before falling to Georgia in the Elite Eight, capping off the best year in OU men's tennis history. 
Speaking of best finishes, at number three, KJ Kindler's women's gymnastics team, being champions are nothing new for the Sooner women, who claimed their third consecutive Big 12 championship. But along the way, the Sooners completed an undefeated regular season, including knocking off then top-ranked Alabama. The Sooners then captured the NCAA Northeast Regional title at Penn State. KJ's crew made school history by advancing to the Super 6 for the first time ever in school history, then put a ribbon on the year with a second place finish in the team standings, the highest finish ever by a Big 12 school. This senior laden team saw Holly Weiss finish her career with two second place individual finishes on bars and floor. The second biggest story in Sooner Sports this year was the incredible job Sherry Cole and her staff did in 2009-2010. After losing Courtney and Ashley, then sharpshooter Whitney Hand after the team's fifth game, the Sooners rallied together and made one of the more improbable tournament runs in recent memory. A season that saw the Sooners sweep Bedlam again, push national champ UConn to one of their closest contests of the year, and coming up just short in the Big 12 championship game, the Sooner women gathered together to win two games in the Norman Regional, then two more in the Sweet 16 and Elite Eight in Kansas City, including a 20-point win in the regional finals. OU made their third Final Four in school history and second consecutive. The Sooners run ended with a hard-fought loss to Stanford. Junior guard Danielle Robinson was named the school's seventh All-American. That brings us to our number one moment of the year in Sooner Athletics, the NFL Draft. In what ESPN called the Oklahoma Draft, the Sooners' unprecedented run of three of the top four picks in the spring's NFL Draft tops the list. With the first pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the St. Louis Rams select Sam Bradford, quarterback, Oklahoma. With Jermaine Gresham also being drafted in the first round, the Sooners had four selected in the first round of this year's draft. With Sam going number one to the Rams and Blake Griffin being picked number one in last year's NBA draft by the Clippers, OU once again showing why there's only one Oklahoma.